First things first, when it comes to uh, finding your timing on your cams, you're looking for the, uh, basically when things are happening, when the cam lobe is opening. Um, you always want to start from top dead center, set everything up to the, your factory settings. Like in the previous video there, I, I mentioned you want to get your piston up high as possible. Um, I left in the back here just for, for visual reference to make sure nothing's screwing around that when it's at top dead center, this is at the top. Um, so I can keep an eye on it. Normally if you have a, like a, you know, three or so dial indicators, you can actually set up a multiple dial system. It makes it really cool to see what's going on with your cam. So you know, what's, you know, happening to everything at the same time, but I only got the one set up here and that's pretty much all you need. I mean, a lot of people do this without these dial indicators. Um, I'll let you know that I'm actually in the process of doing this right now, but I, I zeroed out my gauge and started turn o turning over to the right using the wrench down here on my degree wheel, just to ignore what I have down there. I'm actually backtracking a little bit here just to explain to you guys. Now the, um, where you want to position this, I'll grab a uh, light here. You're wanting to position Ideally, you'd want to have this going straight up and down, uh, but you definitely want to have your dial indicator so it's not going to be hitting against that cam lobe. Um, it is actually going to be pretty close there. I've, I've gone over this a couple times. Uh, I might, it still might touch, but uh, if it does, I can correct that. But I'll just, for you know, this sake here, I'll explain what we're doing. Um, now, looking from the front, yeah, I mean, obviously, your valve. Um, it's going to be on an angle like this. So we are kind of going opposite with our dial indicator, but there's not really a whole lot we could do with the room that we have. Um, if you had an extension for your dial indicator, which I do not, um, you could, you could do this better. So it isn't as, you know, shoddy, but, uh, you know, for video's sake, whatever, I'm just showing you the, the basic how to on degreeing cams. Now what, uh, what we have here is I'll just continue cranking over. We're looking, the industry standard for this, don't ask me why this is, um, is 0 0.05 um, inch. Now, you see it's kind of borderline right there. I'm gonna just go with that, leave it where it sits. And what we would wanna do is on our degree wheel down here, looks like this happens before bottom dead center. And I'm gonna mark it with a pen. This will come off later. It actually looks about 44 uh, before bottom dead center. That is when it opens. Now, so basically the uh, next little bit when we keep turning it over is going to be where our high point is. Now, I did reset this gauge just recently, so I don't know if it's going to be four. It's going to be 0.4 something something. I had it up to 469 before, but I have adjusted the gauge. Yeah, we're already going the other way. Oh, maybe. Okay. I just got to take a look at my gauge here. coming up we're looking for 0 0.05 on the way up uh, you know pardon me if it's a little bit shaky here but I'm trying to make sure that that doesn't hit the same time either I missed uh, the high point there so I'm, I'm just going right to the close I am turning this really slow, by the way. I know you guys probably want me to hurry it up, but whatever. This is a delicate process. Okay, that is actually a little bit too far. But uh, where is that happening? I'm gonna actually take this off.
doing this before, I was just using, you know, tape to mark it. But now we got, it looks like, and I'm going to double check this a couple times, but I have it uh, before top dead center. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 is when it uh, opens. So basically between these two, that's our, our activity for our exhaust cam. And, uh, you know, once you got that, you, you write the numbers down on, on a piece of paper. I got mine just filled with numbers because I've been working on this for a while. Um, once you figure out that, you, you then move your gauge over to the other side do the exact same thing again. You want to zero it out when it's right at the top. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring this up all the way. You can see my gauge. Um, like the cam isn't even on right now. So I was actually out about five, one hundred thousandths, approximately. Anyway, I'm going to zero it again and uh, tamper with the gauge a little bit and just get it so it's working perfect. Then I'm going to have to go back down to my degree wheel and change these numbers that I just wrote on there again. So um, this is just a, and I like showing you kind of how it works um, for setting up your gauge. And then from there, when you go to make the move on the cam, as you'll see in you know another video, um, how you move the cam. And I'll you know I'll describe how to do that and what uh, the points mean and and so on. So that's uh, pretty much the gist of uh, degreeing cams. Um, you know the main thing you want to make sure that you don't do is. Uh, crank the cams too much so you have something pointing down piston hitting it too soon or anything like that you know for all i know i might have already done that six or seven times trying to figure this out um it is a little nerve-wracking because there is a, not a whole lot of information available online on how to degree cams especially with a bucket over um over valve i mean there is a couple of videos but when it goes into detail like do this do this it, you know you gotta kind of fill in the gaps so I, that's you know what i have been doing Maybe I'm just a slow learner, a bit of an idiot, I don't know. But anyway, this is uh, intake cam, KA24 engine, uh, Jim Wolf technology cam gears, and uh, just basically figuring out where everything is. This is just one of the steps.